Hey, what is it guys? It's you, Jar. Today we are going to be playing as Kale in the top lane. We are against the Jack, so it's a terrible matchup. Uh, guys, sorry I haven't really uploaded for two days. Uh, I was feeling like complete garbo, but um, I'm a little bit better now. So yeah, going to see if I can continue with the consistency. I actually uploaded 28 days in a row, I think, or 27, which is the most I've ever done. So yeah, um... They have a full AD team. I actually went double armor this game. I always go double armor if I go against a top laner and a jungler that are AD. And this guy went press the attack. This is a low diamond game. High plat game. So, Elo's pretty nice. There's a lot of diamond and platinum players in this game. So, yeah. Good luck, Gus. And let's see. How it goes. Oh yeah, the camera's a little bit closer to me, guys, because I actually bought um arm arms for my monitor, and now my monitor is a lot closer to me. Which is something I really wanted because the monitor was always really, really, really far away. This actually makes me concentrate a little bit better. Oh, we actually got the auto attack off. Nice. Um actually really nice that the minions didn't focus that one. I prefer getting that one over the caster minion obviously because um melee minions are worth a little bit more so why this matchup's very bad is because this guy's uh, q cooldown is really low so he can literally just spam it on top of us and completely annihilate us that's why i like corrupting pot and fleet against him because of the amount of move speed you get it's really hard for him to initiate even if he does q into you I'm gonna put a point into my w because i do need sustain and use it so it's on cooldown now. If you ever take damage of kill early game, it's just better to uh, put a point most of the time into your W. That way your your mana region starts kicking in and you can actually heal. Plus the sustain you get from corrupting put against Jax is really nice. He has to hold in you like a lot of times if he actually wants to get you low. That's why I've been taking Corrupting Pot with um, Discord Delivery and Time Warp Tonic against Jax Ribbon and Aurelia. It doesn't really work that well against Aurelia. Um, but I mean, what else can you get? <laughs> Honestly, get take against Aurelia. Uh, that matchup is just complete garbage for Kill. Okay. It's not gonna get that one. Sad. Just doing my best here to CS. Oh, uh, we do scale better than Jax does, but not by much. Not by much, honestly. I mean, if we do go eight after we're level 16 with our dev cap, we are gonna be way stronger than he is. But uh levels one to fifteen, he's just a better champion. We can, we can maybe get a little bit of a power spike over him, level 11. But other than that, it's not easy. Oh, I actually missed that. Actually missed that. Can a pot here? Again, you can always use your corrupting pot charges to actually sustain a little bit. I have a pretty big minion wave right now. Okay, not the best trade for me, especially because he has corrupting pot, so he does have sustain. But I, I think I'll take it. Again, his Q cooldown is really low, so every time he can, he has his Q, he can literally just jump on top of me. And that's why I like this setup against Jax. It's really not as easy as it seems to actually stun you. Damn, I really needed to hit that Q. Okay, he used all his corrupting pot charges. Damn. Okay. Maybe the flash was not necessary, but I still got the kill, so I'll take that. I'm not going to be able to push this in under tower, honestly. Yeah, I'm just going to leave here. He's obviously going to TP into that, I think. He should. Yeah. 
I mean, I got the kill, but uh, was it worth it? If he pushes that, he's really dumb. Okay, I'm gonna grab... I really need boots against Jax very early on, and I'm gonna grab that. Did he push it? Hmm. No, I have to TP here. It's kind of risky, though. I have boots now, so it's really hard for this guy to all in me. That's why you get boots very early on against this guy. And with fleet and your W and stuff, your move speed is really nice. Now this guy's kind of screwed, honestly. He took way too much damage there. Don't really want this guy to Q into me if I don't have my W. I want to push this in. Got his ulti? Very nice. Very, very nice. Woo! That was actually really nice that I got that. That's exactly why you get boots in this matchup, man. Just the extra move speed allows you to survive really nice against these guys. Actually, a little bit pumped up with that, man. Did not expect the double kill very early on with kill. And we got four stacks of Dark Seal now, so we're doing amazingly well. Oh, use my Q by accident, guys. I'm sorry. Damn. If you enjoy the content, guys, leave a like and subscribe. Always helps me out a ton. I actually want Blasting one, man. No, I'm kind of inting. This is a little bit more efficient since it's 1k gold. Leave a like and subscribe, guys. Um, always helps me out a ton. Yeah. Uh, reason why you want AP again. If I had enough for these two, I would have bought these two. Reason why I want AP right now is because, first of all, I have enough attack speed. And second, AP is just better in this matchup instead of attack speed. Oh, you're screwed, dude. Yep, use his E like that. He's just completely screwed in that situation. Uh, he doesn't have teleport still, I think. Pretty sure he does. I'm just gonna pot here. Just go into bot here. And wait for everything to be okay. Okay, I see the grave spot side, so I'm just gonna take as many plates as I can here. If I had ulti, I would have literally just um just zone um Jax off here. But since I don't have my ulti, I don't think I can 1v1 him that easily. Doesn't have his Q, so I'm just gonna take some free auto attacks here. If he uses his Qs on minions like that, guys, you should always go for free auto attacks. Okay, I'm just gonna grab that, and now I'm gonna leave. I really want to back here. I have a lot of gold, but I first want to, I first want to pink board this just before I back. It's not a cannon minion wave, unfortunately. Maybe backing here is not the best call. Gonna lose a lot because of that. I mean, we're very far ahead, though. No. Man, I love coffee. Holy shit. Um, you should not go for that, dude. You should 100% not go for that. Now that I'm here, you can actually go for it. Okay. It's gonna work that. I really don't want to, like, do anything because the wave is pushing towards this guy. I'm losing a lot of CS here because of it. You don't really want to roam when the wave is like this, guys. Damn. This is not good. 
just leave, dude. You're forcing it way too hard, and, and like this guy's this guy was back, so we're not gonna win that. It's not gonna happen. Okay, I see Graves going towards. Okay. This Jax is not that good. I'm guessing he's one of the platinum players. Yeah, he's, this guy's. This guy's not good at all, man. What the actual F? Like, even for platinum, this guy's not playing well. Because platinum plays are way better than this. I mean, maybe he's just tilted. I'm not sure. Or maybe he's lagging. Um, uh, my server has been lagging a lot lately, so maybe it's that. It's actually been unplayable. You, some games, um, it's very, very hard to play. And some games, like, some games like this one, you can actually play and actually pilot your champion decently well. Or maybe he's just tilted because he lost to a matchup where he shouldn't have lost early game. <laughs> but yeah, I have TP now. I have dark suit. I have eight stacks, man. If I get one more kill, I obviously buy uh, Magi's. Should I just buy it right now? I have enough gold for it. This is not an efficient buy, obviously, because you don't have the 10 stacks, but I'm just gonna buy it, honestly. Because I need uh, 1.3k for my. Um, or my leeching leer. So, yeah, I don't really have enough for that. I'm just gonna buy this, honestly. Ooh. Ezreal? <laughs> Good job, man. Good job. I don't want this guy pushing this because our uh, plates are still up. I'm going to push this and then try and roll mid because I want as many plates as possible. Okay, I'm level 11. I'm very, very strong right now. If I get killed, though, I'm in a bad situation because I will lose my stacks. Get a pot here. I really want to roam uh, mid as fast as possible. Potting will give me move speed because of time warp tonic. So yeah, I just want to go mid and try and take as many plates here. Will soon fall. Okay, see Graves top side. I am born from the flame of their when you take an early tower, guys, try and always go towards another lane and try and grab as many plates as possible. It's really hard to deal with a fed uh, champion. Obviously, if you're taking tower really fast because you're kind of fed. I'm pretty sure this guy's referraled, man. We actually took like the like three plates because of that and a tower. So. Damn. I'm not going to be able to kill this guy, sadly. Especially that Sorako heal. Yeah, just gonna, not gonna do that. I don't want to miss my CS here, so I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna chase him. Chasing, like right there, is a mistake. Yeah, these guys are overcommitting for those plays, man. I had the opportunity to take that referral. I kind of messed up here. You should just give it up. Can't contest that dragon right now. Since they're all bots, I'm gonna go into their jungle and try and take as much as possible. If they have anything, they do not. I'm not gonna ward right now because they're obviously all dragon. Don't want to pot with corrupting pot because I'll, I'll I'll apply a damage over time, and that's not really good when you're poking people down off a tower. Okay, I'm gonna ward right now. Uh, these are gonna spawn, so I'm gonna go first for wolves, and then I'm gonna go for the blue buff. They're all still bot side, so this is pretty free. 
two camps are basically the same worth, guys, as a um, as a kill. So right now I'm basically getting one kill with these two camps, and well, third camp, so 1.5 kills. Because you're start like on top of getting the gold, you're also starving the enemy jungler from gold and exp. So that's why it's so worth it when you're split pushing to actually grab as much as possible. Uh, I'm gonna grab this, and then I'm gonna have enough for these two. Yeah. Okay, I see Yone and this guy topside. I already took absolutely everything, so... Yeah, you're kind of screwed, dude. Took absolutely everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually clear this wave, and then I'm gonna back. Yeah, these guys are screwed, man. Holy F, man. This guy's... That's a champion in League of Legends. That is a champion in League of Legends. And I have enough for Riftmaker. And I also have 20 stacks, so Magi there was 100% worth it. Very, very worth it, man. This is actually a perfect game for me in with kill. And like, this is not low elo whatsoever. So, pretty, pretty nice, honestly. Pretty happy about that. Hmm. Gonna take this. I don't think they'll ram his mines because right now I'm basically the win condition, obviously. I'm gonna go for a death cap now. I have so much AP because of Magi's, man. Reason why you get why reason why you want to buy Magi's at 10 stacks is because you get um additional move speed when you have 10 stacks. It's only 10%, but 10% is a lot, man. Ooh. Okay, they're all mid. I'm actually just gonna stay here then. This guy's bot side. Honestly, I'm gonna stay here. If he wants to trade a outer tower for an inhibitor tower, I'll take that 100%. Gonna ward this. I have to be a little bit careful though. I see Joni still mid, so. Yeah, his champion's a little bit busted, man. Damn, I'm very strong. Holy f! <laughs> yeah, I haven't been this strong with killing so much time. Plus, like Magi is just amplifies that because it's an item base, uh, like that scales up you snowballing. So basically, the like why I'm snowballing right now is just insane. I actually, got the inhibitor, so I'm gonna go bot side now. No reason for me to be bot top side anymore. No reason to be topside. Gonna wait for this. A hundred percent waiting for this, man. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed that I have uh, that I don't have 10 CS per minute this game, because I'm very very strong. I sh I should have 10 CS per minute. It's like nine CS per minute. It's, like it's not bad CS numbers, but I. I it should be a lot better. Uh, two of them are topside, so this is a free Drake. Like, even, even if all of them were here, like, they're, they're not going to be contesting this whatsoever. Especially if this guy gets caught. Yeah. Oh, Silas is kind of broke. Honestly, I'm complaining about Yone, but Silas is a lot stronger than Yone right, right now. Silas is not, like, not balanced whatsoever. Just gonna stay here. Like, my team doesn't need me in Dragon, obviously, especially since Graves died. Just gonna continue to pressure bot. I have enough for death cap, so... Uh... 
I do not know why this guy's here. Is your average ADC player? Average diamond ADC player that knows nothing about macro. I can take these guys. Especially with Rift Maker up. Really want to heal here for my overheal pa um, rune. To try and help them out. Uh, there's no minions. Honestly, I'm just going to stay here. They don't want to, like, defend me. Yeah. Jax can't really do anything against me. Just going to continue to stay here. I have two of them here. Yep. That is what happens. That is... What happens when you mess with a fed kale in the late game? I'm just gonna end honestly, this game's pretty over. Perfect game, honestly. Again, guys, a like and a subscribe would be appreciated. Helps me out a ton. And yeah, as always, you guys. Have a nice day. And good luck with everything, guys.